Get your tissues out because today we're bringing you 10 dog breeds that drool like crazy. Welcome to another episode of Forever Green. And if you're wondering about the most drooling dogs in the world, the number one is definitely not going to disappoint. Oh, you want it, don't you? Oh, look at the bubbles. Dogs are known droolers, but a few breeds that are quite gifted at the art of slobbering or should we say cursed. Some owners love their dogs so much, they're practically blind to all that slobber. Others would have you believe the slob only enhances the charm of their already squishy-faced breed. Whether you're looking to find yourself an adorable, drooly dog, or you're here to learn exactly which breeds to avoid, we've got you covered with today's list. 10 Dog Breeds That Drool Like Crazy. Okay, let's get started. Number 10, Bulldog. This would not be a list of slobberious dogs without the wrinkle-faced Bulldog. Most owners of this breed remember all too well the day they brought home their first Bulldog puppy. So sweet and loving, with their squishy little faces. But as their puppy grew, so did the amount of drool. Drool on their best outfits, all over the hardwood floors, and a slimy mess in their beds. You'll always know the location of a bulldog simply by following its trails of saliva. Slobbery as they may be, most owners will reassure you their adorability far outweighs the extra cleaning chores these dogs come with. Just make sure you always keep a drool cloth handy. Number 9. Basset Hound The Basset Hound is another known slobberer, but many owners find that to be adorable and will tell you it just adds to their droopy and indifferent nature. The Basset Hound must just be one of the most placid, gentle dogs of the hound breed group, with a sense of smell only surpassed by the Bloodhound. Befriender to all dogs and humans, these dogs need a tolerant owner who doesn't mind a little drool, smell, and shedding. That said, those that can appreciate their sometimes independent, stubborn personalities and put up with the occasional slobber will be rewarded with a life companion that is loyal, great with children, and accepting of other dogs. Number 8. Bloodhound The apple doesn't fall far from the tree with the hounds, as the bloodhound is an even larger drooler than his shorter basset cousin. The Bloodhound is also famous for its incredible sense of smell, which remains an icon of the breed to this day. You'll rarely see these dogs with their heads off the ground, as they're always busy tracing the source of some exciting scent. They're often used by police and military search and rescue for their hunting capabilities. In the home, they are very affectionate with their families and make great buddies, just as long as their owners are prepared for some serious slobber. Number 7. Dog de Bordeaux With such a royal name, you expect a little more cleanliness out of the Dog de Bordeaux. And yet, the breed made today's list for a reason. The Dog de Bordeaux is a French Mastiff breed that was once used as a guard dog and a cart pulling dog, and for good reason. It is of the oldest French dog breeds and to this day is known to be a powerful dog with a very muscular body. But on top of all that muscle, sits a cute and wrinkly face. Keep them true to their Mastiff ancestry. Unfortunately, all that excess skin can lead to excessive amounts of drooling. But it's a price many are willing to pay to get a load of that cuteness. Just look at those loose cheeks. Number 6. St. Bernard Some dogs just drool more than others. It's genetic and the St. Bernard is a hard case. St. Bernards, like in the movie Beethoven, are famous for leaving slobbery messes everywhere they go. Their owners carry dish towels and rags around the house to wipe away the drool. All that gorgeous hair also comes with an excessive amount of shedding. But many will tell you these huggable mountain dogs are well worth the effort. Just be sure you invest in some hardwood floors or something that's easy to clean. Number 5. Bull Mastiff Slobberer number 5 is a cross between the English Mastiff and the now extinct English Bulldog. 
Like his French cousin, the Bull Mastiff has also been used as a work and guard dog throughout history. Today, they're most often seen as family companions, a position they excel at. However, one skill they haven't lost over the years is their excessive drooling. And with those wrinkly faces and long cheeks, it's a safe bet these guys will continue to slobber for centuries to come. Whether they're the right breed for you is up for debate. Just make sure you stock up on drool cloths if you do decide to go for a Mastiff. Number 4. Newfoundland The Newfoundland is a Canadian dog breed used for water retrieving and water rescue. Owners love their Newfoundlands for their devotion to their master and their great personalities. These dogs don't rush their owners and can live at your pace, making them an excellent choice for your first dog. They are true gentle giants with a calm demeanor and known for their very friendly temperament. However, like the St. Bernard, they are a large and hairy breed that drools often. So they are not a perfect fit for everyone. But if you can look beyond all the excess saliva, you'll have won a loyal friend for life. Number 3. Great Dane The more dog you have, the more drool that comes with it. So it's no wonder the Great Dane made today's list. The record holder for the tallest dog ever is a Great Dane called Zeus, who measured 3.6 feet from paw to shoulder. The tallest living dog is another Dane named Freddy, measuring 3.4 feet. And while size is one of the main reasons for the impressive amounts of saliva these guys produce, some Great Danes also have excessively long cheeks, which means some of these gentle giants drool even more than others. Number 2. Bernese Mountain Dog Bernese Mountain Dogs with their gorgeous black-white coats bear a striking resemblance to their larger cousin, the St. Bernard. However, these Swiss dogs were actually used for general-purpose farm work. Their sheer strength and size allows these dogs to pull heavy carts and are famous for drooling a lot afterwards, even without a heavy pulling session. These guys are known to slobber a lot on the daily. Strong as they may be, this breed is very gentle-natured and make wonderful family pets if one is prepared to deal with their long shedding coats and a decent amount of saliva. Before we reveal number one, be sure to check out other amazing videos on our channel and give us a like if you enjoyed this video so far. Tell us in comments which one of these you like the most and why. Number 1. Neapolitan Mastiff And the winner of today's slobber contest is the large Neapolitan Mastiff. Just look at all that loose, droopy, saliva-producing skin. The Neapolitan Mastiff is a very impressive dog. Massive, heavy set, and a little bizarre looking. The Neapolitan Mastiff was used to play Hagrid the Half-Giant's dog in the magical Harry Potter movies. These giant dogs need a huge amount of space indoors due to their sizable bodies and pretty clumsy nature. They are also quite territorial and not suitable for small spaces and inexperienced owners with children. Any human or canine trespasser can expect to be chased off a property when there's a Neapolitan around, or at the very least, get heavily drooled upon. And that's it for 10 dog breeds that drool like crazy. Do you have a drooling dog breed? Do you agree with our list of droopy droolers? Please enlighten us in the comments below. And if you love this dog video, you're going to want to check out our other videos on the screen. Don't forget to subscribe to never miss another awesome animal video and see you in the next one.